got him. <laughs> oh. Pro cross strikes again. Fun little flipping bait right there, right here, flipping some grass. The Z-Man Pro Cross and Okeechobee Craw. It, uh, oh, it's a great little bait flipping. A lot of different things, but we're gonna let this fish go. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you about it here in just a second. The Pro Cross by Z-Man is a super realistic craw. You know, it's uh, it's something that mimics a crawfish, and that's the beauty of the bait. And the elastic makes it as good as it is. So you can see how bulbous the craws are here. They're buoyant, so they have a lot of action in the water. They're gonna stand up off the bottom, but they also cause the bait to fall uh, with a very dead action, which is like a crawfish. We don't see a crawfish kicking down through the water. Uh, but really a good bait when the water's cold because of that for one, but there's a lot of times that fish just don't want a lot of action. We don't even always know why that is. Sometimes we'll try some with action, sometimes it's not. This is a bait that doesn't have a ton of action on the fall. Those right there stabilize the bait, those big craws do as it's falling. So it's falling just like a craw gliding down. But yet when it hits the bottom, these are gonna float up creating a lot more action, more movement out of those craws, those pinchers, as it's sitting on the bottom, if you're hopping it or dragging it. Uh, I like to throw it on a Texas rig a lot. I probably throw it more on a Texas rig than anything, just because of the versatility of it. You know, it comes through grass and covers so well. It works really good as a jig trailer too, dragging a football head or even skipping a jig under docks. It has a lot of density to it. So again, that jig has a lot of weight to get speed on it, to skip it under there but also is gonna make that bulky profile dragging it on the bottom if it's a football jig or you're just fishing a jig on the bottom. On a Texas rig, I like a four-aught straight shank hook. This is an owner jungle hook, but any straight shank hook with a keeper to hold that elastic on there, some sort of keeper up towards the top really works well with elastic. And uh, I peg the weight when I'm flipping it like this just to keep it from not getting tangled in stuff as much. Uh, it's more important when it's stuff out of the water you're flipping and pitching around than vegetation under the water, but it really doesn't change the action that much, having that weight loose or having it pegged. Just for maintenance reasons, I really like a pegged weight. 3 eighths is something I throw probably more than anything with this bait. Uh, with a really lightweight, it falls really slow because again, this is elastic, so it's really buoyant and it's gonna fall a little bit slower than traditional plastics will with the same size weight. Uh, but that's the Pro Cross. Uh, again, really versatile bait. You can do a lot of things with it, but it gets a lot of bites and it does a lot of the year. This is Okeechobee Craw color, a bunch of different realistic colors out there and uh, some other colors that are blacks and stuff like that that were good in dirty water too. But uh, that's one of my favorite colors for clear water right there. That's the Pro Cross. Let's head out on the water and I'll show you how I'm fishing it today. When I'm fishing the grass like this, you know, really I'm letting the bait, it's pretty simple, I'm letting the bait fall down in the grass so it goes down to the bottom or it's going to stop on grass wherever it happens to land, but I'll just take and pop it out of the grass so it's coming up over that grass and then falling again, just like a craw would, shooting out of there, you know, you're getting some of those fish to react to it, but bringing that bait up over the top of the grass like that also draws a lot of attention from the fish in here, so um, I'm watching for this harder line here, we're in nine and a half feet and there's a little bit harder line of cabbage and six to eight feet of water we're fishing and uh you know i'm looking at it on my active target and seeing the edge of the grass out there and and throwing out and uh, hopping it through it and it's kind of like a needle in a haystack in some of this the grass is going to look good in a lot of places and not have a lot of fish and you might just catch one here and there but a lot of times with this technique you're going to go along and you're going to find a place where you don't really, can't identify why, but there's gonna be a lot of bites in a short period. You can go and fish grass like this for long distances and you'll find the pot of gold somewhere where you just go to jacking them for a, a little stretch there and has deep water close to it. So it's a little bit appealing to me right now that uh, it has that deep water on the edge of it and a big flat up behind it and kind of isolates the fish where they don't have as, as big of a section to be at that line's a lot more defined when you have that deeper water uh, that gets close to a shallow flat like that and a little, makes it a little bit easier to isolate where they're gonna be. Flipping this Pro Cross, we're using a 50 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I like it, you need to be a little bit sensitive about how hard you set the hook with that leader because you do have braid going to it, but it's so much more sensitive, especially in 
situations where you're around this vegetation, there's a lot of times you pick up that fish maybe all the way around stuff. So it really helps to be able to hit the fish with a good hook set and when they're around stuff. And you know when they bite it a lot sooner too. We're using a, uh, a 7.3 medium heavy rod here today, just a little bit shorter around these reeds. Um, there's times I'll use a 7.6 in open water, but when you get in these reeds and you're trying to shoot it through those little holes, that shorter rod helps you uh, be more accurate. And uh, an 8.5 to 1 reel is uh, pretty important just to get your bait in and out of the water quicker, so it makes you a lot more efficient. You know, it'll help if you have a fish run at you really fast, but just the efficiency of that reel, you get a lot more pitches or flips in in a day, however you're presenting your bait. Oh my god! Oh, it's a big smallmouth in the reeds! What are the odds of that? <laughs> oh! Man, look at that, that's pretty cool. Not every day you catch a big smallmouth out of the reeds on the pro cross. That is a chunk right there. See, everything eats the pro cross. That's pretty cool. And what a beautiful fish. Z-Man Pro Cross, we're gonna let this one go. You guys can check out all the gear, find the Pro Cross, all the stuff I'm using today on tacklewarehouse.com.